What's up guys, Ebra here with Hardware Connects and I have a confession to make. You see, not that long ago, I built myself a small form factor PC featuring the Ryzen 9 3950X and an RTX 2080 Ti all inside a Sliger uh, ITX chassis. And I thought to myself that this was gonna be my main workstation PC. It is gonna replace my 8700K workstation. I was all excited about it. And I even mentioned in the video that this was gonna replace my main PC moving forward. But let me show you what really happened. Well, I'm still using the 8700K system, guys, and there's a good reason for that. You see, this PC is dead silent under both idle and load operations. And to me, that's really important because when I'm doing my on-cam compositions or my A-roll, I have the microphone placed sort of next to the case because when I'm composing my shot, uh, the camera is over there and then I sort of have the microphone placed as close as possible so that I get the best audio recording. And the fan noise wasn't really interfering with the audio recordings because the system was just super quiet. But when I replaced it with the ITX case or the ITX system, um, yeah, the fan noise is really bothering me. It's difficult to explain it over video, but uh, let me show you a quick comparison uh, between this and my ITX case. So that's what I'm dealing with, which is why I'm still using the 8700K system instead of the ITX system. Uh, also, I have a few other issues too. Uh, first up, NVIDIA's control panel doesn't show up on Windows, even though that I've correctly installed the drivers directly through NVIDIA's website. So that is definitely something that I have to uh, look into. Also, I realized that I installed the radiator bracket on the top panel incorrectly uh, because I plan on installing this handle because that's one of the cool things about this case is you can install a handle on top for easier transportation. So that's definitely something that I wanna fix as well. That is more of a user error, so that's that's completely my fault. Uh, and I also wanna take a look at the cable management once again to see if I can kind of clean things up a little bit. And finally, there's the acrylic side panels because these things, they look pretty disgusting. They're very ugly and I mean, they can easily scratch up. So I do have a solution for that as well. So in this video, I'm gonna try my very best to fix some of these issues with this ITX system. Fan noise is definitely a top priority and the rest will sort of follow along. All right, so before I start playing around the fan profiles through software, I do wanna fix that radiator bracket at the top and of course take a look at cable management. So take care of the physical stuff first and then move on to software uh, at the very end. All right, so the top radiator bracket is installed correctly. So now I can uh, mount the handle without an issue, except I actually don't have the screws to mount it properly because I can't seem to find them, which is a complete fail on my part. I did go through my screw pile to see if I can find something that works. Uh, and the closest I found was this guy, which uh, is longer. <laughs> so I might have to hit up Home Depot to find something that's a bit shorter and then install it because I'm sure there'll be a solution for this. But yeah, can't really find the screw for that. But at least I'm glad that this is done. So the next order of business is to take care of cable management to see if I can sort of clean things up. Okay, so I think I'm pretty happy with the cable management inside this case. Uh, I tried my best to clean things up. As you can see on this side, it looks pretty good, but let me know what you guys think about it in the comments. If I flip over to the other side of the case, give me one sec here. Um, yeah, it looks pretty good. I mean, on this side, cables are nicely routed. And uh, yeah, the only thing is that Corsair cables, uh, the stock ones that come with this power supply, they're a bit longer. So what I'm gonna do perhaps later is uh, get some custom cables and sleeve them myself, make them a bit shorter so I don't have to worry about tucking them in. But yeah, that is, uh, that is what it is. So the next thing to do is close this up, but I will not be going back to the acrylic side panels. In fact, I did request Liger to send me the vented uh, aluminum uh, powder coated panels and they look absolutely gorgeous. In fact, I think they're even built a little bit better. Uh, also, this will definitely help with airflow for sure. So I'm gonna mount this on this side so that I can see the GPU. Unfortunately, the other side or the other panel uh, is closed, which means I won't be able to look at that gorgeous RGB uh, setup on the cooler as well as the memory. So 
that's okay. I mean, this is an ITX chassis after all. I don't really care about the RGB looks at all. It's completely a matte black stealth looking build and that's exactly um, what I love about it. All right, so the system is booted and I'm in Windows right now. Uh, fan noise, unfortunately, is still present, especially when I'm trying to browse anything through Chrome, which is a fairly light load task. It shouldn't technically ramp up, but it still does and it's, it gets pretty loud. Uh, and the NVIDIA control panel is still missing uh, in the settings option, as you can see right here. When I right click, it's not there, so I have to fix that. Uh, and there is actually a good reason for that because NVIDIA recently does not include the control panel as part of the driver package. So if you download NVIDIA drivers uh, through NVIDIA's website, it doesn't come with the control panel because they've actually separated that, which means you have to uh, physically go into the Microsoft Store and download it from the Microsoft Store. And interestingly enough, if I look at the reviews on the store, um, people absolutely hate this. Uh, <laughs> apparently it's broken. People are having a lot of issues with uh, this driver. In fact, they can't really install it. So I don't know if it's going to happen to me because it has a 1.5 rating, which certainly isn't good. So yeah, uh, before I do this, I just want to make sure that Windows is up to date. So let me just go ahead and uh, take care of that. Well, it looks like we have a lot of things to update. So I'll let the updates run and get back to you. It's still loud. So we're back. Windows is up to date. I had to go through a few restarts to make sure all the updates are installed. The fans are still ramping up. NVIDIA control panel is still missing. So that is unfortunate. It's also weird because NVIDIA wasn't really clear about the fact that they were separating the control panel with their driver package. If you're building a new system, uh, you would automatically assume that NVIDIA as a whole would just include the control panel with the driver package because that's typically how it worked, at least when I was building PCs last year. It just happened recently uh, that they managed to separate them. So let's go ahead and install the control panel directly from the Microsoft Store because that's, I guess, the only option to uh, get this sorted. So let's see. NVIDIA control panel. We're going to go and... Man, wish me luck. I, I really hope that this works because the last thing I want is to have issues just installing the control panel. Of course, you have to use your Microsoft account, but I don't really want to. It, it still should install without me signing in. That's one thing I hate about the Microsoft Store. All right, so it's installed, which is very fast, actually. Uh, but let's go ahead and launch this. Well, what do you know? <laughs> it's up and running. Well, that's a good sign. Uh, it looks like I think we are running the updated version. Uh, let me just double check. So I have NTXT Cam opened over here. And as you can see, uh, it is running in the silent profile. If I switch it to performance, then the fans just they ramp up all the way to 12, 1300 RPM. But what's even interesting is that I did create a custom profile. I played around with the fan curves to see if I can find something that is relatively uh, tolerable. So it looks like my custom profile did work with these fans. Well, guys, I think I found the culprit that was causing the fan noise. And um, initially I thought it was the GPU fans, but that wasn't the case. In fact, it was the Be Quiet fans installed as intake at the bottom. Now, how did I find that? Well, I did something that none of you are supposed to do. I just I simply placed my fingers on these fans. I let them stop spinning, but that wasn't create the fans. So I sort of played around with the fans installed the radiator. These things are super quiet. So is the GPU. But as soon as I laid my fingers on the Be Quiet fans, yeah, the system is just dead silent. I can't hear a single thing. Even the GPU and the RAD uh, or the fans at the top. So. Yeah, it, it, it works. So what I'm going to do is head into the BIOS and then play around with the uh, fan RPMs because these fans at the bottom are connected directly to the motherboard. So I should be able to fill around with the RPM value through the BIOS. Let's see how that goes. Well, after spending a while figuring out the fan noise, especially with the bottom fans, the system is finally quiet. It's actually dead silent just as the uh, Fractal case or my Intel system, which is awesome. Now, how did I do that? Well, believe it or not, I just installed AI Suite 3 and I hit the uh, silent profile and bam, the system just, just, it just, it just was super silent. Now, if I want full speed, I, I can just hit that and the fans will ramp up. That is pretty sweet. Man, AI Suite 3. It still looks pretty old. If I remember, this still looks like the one from the X79 Deluxe days, uh, especially when I built my very first system, AI Suite looked very much 
the same. So I think I've addressed all the issues with this ITX system, guys. The last thing I need to do is transfer all the files and programs from my uh, Intel system to the ITX rig and replace this with, with this beauty. Now, before I sign off, I do want to mention a few things if you're in the same situation as I am, troubleshooting fan noise in your system. So, finding the culprit can be a little bit challenging, especially if you're working in an ITX case where the fans are very much closer to each other. I would highly not recommend placing your finger uh, through the blades or putting them in the blades because like that could technically uh, void the warranty of your fans. It could damage the bearings. I just did it because I thought it would be fun, but I would highly uh, not encourage doing that. Uh, what you want to do is probably play around with the BIOS and uh, see what you can do with individual chassis fans, especially if you have them connected to the motherboard. Now, in this case, I'm using the Kraken X62 cooler and fan speeds can only be controlled through CAM. Unfortunately, it cannot be controlled with the BIOS because the Kraken cooler, it connects via USB 2.0 header and it uses that interface to control the pump speed and all that stuff. So that is something to encounter if you plan on using an AIO solution. If it's a CPU air cooler, then it shouldn't be a problem. You can control RPM fans directly to the BIOS. The other thing I want to mention is that if your motherboard comes with a dedicated utility software that can control fan speeds and basically a hub like AI Suite 3 for ASUS, highly recommend downloading it and playing around with that could definitely help you uh, set custom fan profiles for individual chassis. Uh, and to me, I'm actually really happy that I have that because I didn't realize AI Suite would completely sort of solve the issue with the Be Quiet fans at the bottom because ultimately those two 140 millimeter fans were the culprit of system noise. So I, I'm glad that I was able to address that. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with the system, guys. I mean, I managed to pretty much address all the issues that I had with this PC. So the first up, I installed or reinstalled the uh, bracket for the top panel properly. Uh, but unfortunately, I couldn't find the screws for the handle, so I have to definitely hit up Home Depot probably after I finish recording this video. Uh, also, I managed to uh, replace the side panels, the acrylic side panels, with proper vented panels, especially on the GPU. Also, we fixed the NVIDIA control panel issue. That wasn't too bad. Uh, if <laughs> I'm pretty surprised that it just worked after I installed it directly from the Microsoft Store. And then finally, we, uh, we took care of fan noise, so I'm very happy about that. I just have to now edit this video on the system. It's actually the very first video that I'm editing on this PC, so I'm pretty sure it'll do a pretty good job at that, but um, let me know what you guys think about these maintenance style vlog videos. I mean, are you interested in something like this? I'm definitely curious to know. I'm Ebro with Hydro Connects. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check out some relevant content over here. Subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. All right, now I have to edit the video. Let's do this, buddy. Let's do this.